I am Endlessness and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis and in this video I wanted to give you a guide for the Sector 5 Very Hard Crisis Dungeon. This is a full pure fire dungeon and all we need here is the fire elements and as you can see we have three bosses with adds so AoE attacks will be very useful here and you only need a circle surgery for all the bosses in this dungeon. Our favorite scary boss is here, Galen Balorakana, and he is very near the starting point, but luckily he isn't very buffed, so he won't do too much damage to us. And then we have Assault Scorpion, which will inflict poison, so if you are worried, you could equip a Poison Esuna, and then Fire Dragon and Soldier Triplets. We also have a new final boss, Behemoth Pawn, which we first encountered at the final first soldier chapter and this is a behemoth from FF7 remake and he is immune to attack debuffs and at the beginning of the battle he will apply a fire shield which will have a high poncy physical magic defense and fire resistance buff so you want to bring some weapons or materia to nullify those buffs. This dungeon consists of three floors. We start at the top one and then we go downwards and here we have three bosses, Ganon Balorakana, Blue Dragon and the Scorpion Sentinel and on the lowest floor we have the soldiers and then the final boss here. But you could go with Galen Balorakana, he is literally as you approach this floor but I recommend skipping him and going for the Sentinel then for the dragon and then it depends if you have your limit breaks ready, the summons or not. If you have you can go to Galen Balorakana and then for the soldiers if at this point you don't have your summons ready, go for the soldiers and then for the Galen Balorakana. While you can debuff some of the boss's attacks, Behemoth Pawn is immune to that and you definitely want to bring something to lower his defenses and nullify his fire resistance buff. You could bring some weapons or since we got a fire bridge material recipe, you could bring a fire bridge. Since all you need is fire, so Hellfire and Crimson Flare will be great here and if you have a magic DPS you could consider bringing Mega Flare. As for recommendations, Aerith with X staff would be perfect here as DPS because she can do both AoE and stronger single target attacks. Yuffie and Lucia from the Summer Banners are ideal because of the 15% P attack buff in the dungeon, if you pull that is. Nanaki with Rebirth Outfit will also be a very good support. Essentially, just equip your strongest DPS for this dungeon, but I recommend having at least one character with AoE fire if you can. Since Behemoth is also immune to attack debuffs, I can suggest equipping a support character with defensive buffs and you are very easily protected against every boss. I'll be using Cloud, Sephiroth and Mats and my team has 309,000 combat power. Cloud is my single target DPS and debuffer, Sephiroth is AoE DPS and Matt is my support healer and all my characters have a physical circle surgery mainly so they won't be affected if the dragon applies a fog status. I also have only the necessary equipment for this pile and multiple empty slots so in all those other slots you can use anything to boost your stats further or equip any other utilities if you need them. Matt has gear voucher outfit with gigantic shield in limit slots, then I have syringe in main weapon slot to apply defensive buffs and cura in the all cure materia slot and in secondary slot I have stingray to decrease magic defense. In sub equipment slots I have centipede, guard stick and halloween event weapon all to boost Matt's heal so Matt has 11.6 hp 2.6 heals, 134 p and 121 m -def. Then I have Sephiroth with the Fire Mastery Outfit and Crimson Flare in Limit slot. In Main Weapon slot I have Protector's Blade for the Circle Surger boost and Crimson Blade for AoE Fire DPS. In Sub Equipment slots I have Easter Event Weapon and Flame Projector both to boost Magic Attack and Fire Potency so Sephiroth has 9.1 HP, 3.8 Magic Attack and very low defenses. Lastly I have Cloud with Fire Arknum Outfit, Sky Splitter in Main Weapon slot and Hellfire. 
In secondary slot I have Glavenes to boost Cloud's attack and apply the PDF debuff and in sub-equipment slots I only have the summer event weapon and Cloud also has fire breach materia so he has 11.6 HP, 3.3 physical attack and his defenses are also quite low. So we start the dungeon here at the top floor and there's a third rare chest. I forgot to mention there are three rare chests. The two ones are visible. One is here between those two bosses and then there is the second one near this, this boss but there's a third rare item and it's on this platform but we have to go around it and I'll show it later when we get to that point. But first, let's go to this middle floor. And yes, here is the Gallant Below Arcana, but do not go anywhere near him. This first rare counter, you can use it to max out your stance. I'm just gonna play the buffs, the defensive buffs, so I don't really take too much damage and I'll just wait for Cloud to to strike, which should be... yep, that's perfect. Alright, let's go to the next boss. Well, the first boss actually. But right now we don't really have any anything to buff ourselves. That's fine, we'll get it from those two chests there. With this boss it's quite easy, just buff your defenses. And also pay attention because yes, Assault Scorpion immediately starts to poison us, so don't forget about it and you can start buffing yourselves if you have any buffs and here again I will actually keep healing if you only can bring Esuna but I don't really think it's it's very necessary actually I will save it yes perfect I was hoping that Cloud will finish him off because next boss is the blue dragon and there we will also have multiple adds so you want to finish them as soon as possible. And the chance abilities now. Physical defense, physical attack or magic attack it's up to you. However I will go with physical defense just in case I, I like to play those dungeons a little bit safe. And here's the first rare chest that you can come across. So the blue dragon, again, try to get rid of those laser glows as soon as possible. And now it's the sigils, so hopefully that will be fine. But with Sephiroth I will try to finish those laser glows. And also pay attention, because they actually hurt you quite, quite a lot. So I will actually heal here, just in case. And yes, you could go and just finish the, mo the, the boss with the limit breaks, but I will... I'm hoping to avoid that. Perfect. But because we have now both limit breaks, we can go to Galen Balorcana. And next, it's up to you. You can go with fire potency 3% but you will lose some healing potency. Up to you if you want that. I will just go with the safe 
Here's the second chest where we'll get our fire cocktails and fire buffs and I also recommend press this thing here so you don't have to run around. And here we have a nice shortcut but before we go there you can always go here and get the second chest. It's just a tent but in case if you need it if you if any of your characters is low HP hopefully if you have your limit breaks ready it will be enough to to finish Galen Balor in one hit just with them I don't so I have to be prepared because I will get hit but I will try to do as much damage as I can before that and unfortunately if you have a debuffer with a fire breach material you can quickly cast it before that before doing the summons but unfortunately my cloud is only at 2 AEB so I won't be able to do that. So here Crimson Flare, Hellfire. But also be prepared to switch to defense. I don't know, I'll try to cast it. Nope. If he's low HP, don't even try to break sigils because he will, you will most likely have enough DPS to finish him off. But whenever you hit him, he will counter you, so you'll still be taking more damage. So that's why ignore the sigils and just try to finish him off as as quickly as possible. If you if he was still alive at this point, so it's up to you. Physical attack, magic attack, ice resistance is not needed, so you can choose which one you want. I will go with magic attack to boost Sephiroth a little bit, because after this we have the, the soldiers. So for Sephiroth, that should be enough. And here is this top platform where is the rare item so after you defeat Galen Balorakana you can access this or at least if you go with the soldiers then you access to this platform and this layer we should actually be fine I think And so I will wait here to cast Fire Breach. Oh no, Cloud, why did you do that? And we should be fine here. Yep, we still had one second time but that's why I recommended you want to have one AoE with you because otherwise you won't maybe you could squeeze with two single target DPS to kill all three of them if you have enough damage if not you'll get hit at least by one of them alive they don't do much damage but still and here it's up to you we still have behemoth who will attack both, so I will go with magic defense here. But of course the cocktails, since Cloud is my only physical DPS, I will just use one jelly and for Cloud and Sephiroth I'll use two of these and we should be good. I always forget about these. They can do whatever. Perfect. 
I'm saving with Mats the ADB because we'll have to debuff the boss. And I also use tent just in case. So yeah, now we can go. Ignore the defenses for now, because now will be this flame shield. So all the high defenses, we have to nullify those buffs, so try to do as quickly as you can. Now with well, I still have to take care of the PDEV buff. At least now Sephiroth can do some DPS on him. And also, if you have your limit breaks ready, you can go as soon as, as quickly as you want. Here I will just go with this gigantic shield to get the, the buffs, the defensive buffs. Oh, I misclicked. It's fine. I will not be using those limit breaks right now, but if you would use them, it's just one hit and they are done. Like, the, this behemoth will be dead. And now it's the sigils. Ju just to show you how the battle is in case if you need some more time to kill him but after this after the sigils he'll be gone and all you need is enough dps to not let this gauge fill to max otherwise he'll do a charged comet attack and you, you need to either kill him or break sigils otherwise it'll be flare and also if i remember correctly behemoth has the standard behemoth has a magic counter so that's why you also want physical sigils. But yeah, that's it. Essentially, I always say it, I recommend not to be afraid to use items in, in the Crisis Dungeons. Your score doesn't really matter, it just bragging rights and you just want the S plus rank for all the rewards. So, in also in most most cases, if you use some items, you get you still get a higher score. So don't be afraid of using them. Even still, with this team, which is very good team, but when I was at full full power, I, I still would get very close to that. So don't be afraid to use items. They will, in most cases, improve your score. But yeah, that's basically it. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions. Let me know in the comments and I'll try to help us as much as I can. But yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next one.